All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a quick little commentary here on a game that I played recently. Um, I participated in the open tournament hosted by Blade55555. Um, this was a technically round three matchup. Um, I got a walk in the first round uh, by a no-show. Uh, Marine Lord actually had to uh, make his way the hard way and play a best of three. So this was a best of three series Round three against Marine Lord, who you guys know is arguably rank one player of AOE four right now. And uh, so it was the best of three series. This was game one. We did the Civ picks, Civ bands, map picks. Now this is played on um, default map one for the best of three was Basin. Um, actually, he agreed to let me play my number one Civ, Delhi, which, I mean, why not? I'm sure he's not worried about playing uh, Joe from, from Golden League here. Um, however, I went with English, uh, for the first game because I also got to pick, loser gets to pick map two, which I picked Dry Arabia, which I may post that video later. Um, I may not, it was that bad. Uh, this one's pretty bad too, but uh, I thought it'd be interesting for folks to see, uh, just kind of, like I said, Joe from Golden League versus rank one in a competitive setting and just kind of give you a point of reference of that skill gap um so i play english i don't play them a lot i'm a little familiar from season one i played them a lot i play season or delhi mostly here in season two so um you'll see i open with sheep and then berries i delay farms i try to get um feudal about as quick as possible here um when i play chinese on the ladder it's usually a pretty good timing push late feudal early castle to try to get in there and do some damage before they hit castle, wall up, have their TCs booming, and get the huge villager lead uh, without producing military. So um, that's my goal here is to take a stab at that against Marine Lord. Um, as you can imagine, he was well prepared, um, especially going against the English. He counters it exactly how you'd expect. Um, so. We'll just show the full map here and free up the camera. Kind of go over to his perspective. So he's got a couple on gold. He's got a mill on the food. So nothing spectacular there. We'll speed it up a little bit here. Pretty standard. I got gold sheep. I'll move over to berries here soon. Um, and just before aging up, I'll throw... There you go. A couple over to wood. I don't know why I go straggler tree instead of just into the lumber camp. But there we go. So I pull gold to go to lumber to try to... Uh, start stacking up the wood so I can pump out a few longbows early, like I said, and try to make that early push. So I scout this. Um, I see the gold. I see he's on gold. So that's I want to get over there and harass the gold ASAP. And that's that's my first um, order of business. So we get up just behind. We're almost identical feudal times here. Now he's going straight into. Uh, Barbican, which he's going to go to TC Song here, which I'm okay with. Um, like I said, I'm going to move out right away. Try to go do some damage with these longbows. See a couple back on gold, and now we're at 14, 7, and 3. So I get here, I get smoked by that Barbican once. So that, and then the town center, gold villagers aren't there anymore. Uh, so I'm just going to work my way around and see what I can find. Nothing on stone. Um, and then I get the bad news. He's already got four horses out there. Like I said, exactly what you'd want to counter the English. So no other military production, just the stables right now. And then just pumping out some villagers. So he knocks that off. He knows he's safe. He's going to move over and start taking stone. So <clears throat> as I moved in here, I brought a little bit of reinforcements. I don't think he knows I'm there. I think he just happens to run into me here. Um... But I'm also saw nothing over here, right? So I'm gonna move top side. See if I can find something to harass over on that side. So I've been over there. I haven't seen it all. Uh, again, we're at 12, 11, and three. He's at uh, so he's at 30 villagers, I think, unless he's building something. I'm at we're roughly equal. On villagers uh, current resources income per minute 
He's got a lot more food. And gold. Interesting. Alright. Anywho. Uh, player score. He's got a little better score. So I'm moving around here. Top side. See if we can find anywhere to do damage over here. We actually find a pretty good spot. With these villagers on food. He was going to scope me out. He saw... Got a little bit of military here, and he backs off. So, good move by him. He just wanted to see what I had going on. He's not committing. Uh, throws out the horseman. I just can't do much against it. So, first mistake here. Uh, it's bringing these guys alone. <clears throat> like I said, I want to try to get over there quickly. Uh, that didn't happen. I should bring them with spears. I should also bring villagers to probably drop a tower around here somewhere. Um, so anyway, we're still stacking up. Kind of slow production here. I'm a little indecisive of what I want to go for now. After he cleans that up, he goes right into his second TC. So he's going to be there right at about 10 minutes. Um, so again, not terrible for me. You know, he's going a little bit of fuel, greed, two TCs, banking up, not a lot of military, but everything is safe. This food's pretty safe. Wood's pretty safe. Um, he's off the stone, just food and wood. Then we're going to have, uh, I actually spotted this. I saw him coming around here. Go to mine. Pretty sure I saw him coming around. Uh, either that or he killed the scout over there, but I know he's coming around the backside, so. You can see he's not there yet. He's moving back to gold. They're in my town center, saw it. Anyway, I bailed him out of there before he does any damage. Um, again, he does a. Good job, as you'd expect, of uh, not overcommitting. He just takes out this mining camp and bails. He's got a good idea where I'm at. I don't know if I show these guys or not. Yeah, still play Koi. He doesn't know these are here. Um, let's take a look at his perspective. So, he's got plenty of food. He's got 22 on food. And now he is booming. He's got... 53 villagers. I've got 36. And uh, here we are at about minute 11. He's clicking up. He's going H3. Right. So I'm, I'm like, uh, what are we doing over here? We got way too much on wood. For one, uh, I'm gonna wall up these sides so you can't sneak around like that. Uh. He almost almost age three, and I'm still just undecisive. I think I'm starting to transition now into these farms um i feel like something's going on it's not over here yet <clears throat> so here's what i do um once he went castle again i felt like that was probably a pretty good time for me to try to make a timing push onto him um go hit some soft spots before he gets his military out um i mean looking back that was that was a big mistake. I should have tried to match him and just age up also. Although, I'm already really far behind, only being on one TC. So, that's a big mistake. A couple things I just completely missed are... He's now spreading out across the map. I missed these villagers coming through here. So, if I spot that, or if I somehow know that that's going on, I can do, at least do a little bit of damage to even out, but... I'm just going to come circle back around here and see if I can't find a soft spot to do a little damage in the back. Um, that guy went by himself, unfortunately. Kind of gave me gave me away. And he's bringing some guys over to raid me at the same time. 
So I've got a little bit of military. And again, he just doesn't overcommit. He's going to mass the military out here. Now, I don't... Age 2, I don't really have an answer for these palace guards. Um, uh, he now knows I'm there. He's going to come back and try to fight this off while also massing up the palace guards on the front to raid me. Again, I just have no idea. These are out there. I lost my scout, unfortunately. I didn't make another one. And... <clears throat> See how I'm. So I pulled. They're putting him back on gold. There we go. We got a fight. And as you can see, not a whole lot happening. And he's got military that he pulled back here somewhere. There they are. So come in here, try to raid some villagers. And it's just not much happening. Very good reaction. He came right back while also having units to send over in the front of my base. That I don't have an answer for. You see, I'm getting real close here to aging up. I just need gold. That's, I mean, that's the move right now. Age up. But I don't. I went straight into units. I'm gonna try to fight this off a little bit. Which I can't. I mean, he's so far ahead now. I've got 52 pop, 45 villagers versus 87. 29. You'll see he's top capped here very soon. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to survive. Um, just wasting resources on these units here. Uh, again, I'm locked in my base. My timing push was an absolute fail. Um, he made a good reaction. Also had his base packed in there pretty nice with the Barbican where it just was tough to harass. And then he spread out which is not tough to her. He has no tower. Or he's got one tower over there. And I just, once I lost my scout, I missed it. You can hear us. We're chatting. They already know I'm toast. Let's say I'm so far behind already. He said rip. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, we played out here. So he basically postures up. I try to get some more units out here to defend. Again, H2 units versus H3. And then he just goes ram spam like crazy and this is like i said it's already ball game but um just showing his lead i actually get enough here to age up so i try to throw up the white tower defensive position and just get slammed in my face so um we're smoked here try to fight it a little bit again palace guards not a chance he comes in and just absolutely wrecks me. I've got nothing for it. I've got uh, pulled all my villagers. Just try to make a little bit of a short bow fight back and also try to kill some of these rams. So you can see I'm at uh, 34 pop here. Uh, player score just dead. You can see I think he's capped. Yeah. Villagers all over the map. Um, so, again, obviously, huge skill gap, um, huge experience gap, not my main sieve, but also just that was a pretty poor attempt at trying to put some pressure, um, and again, I think just kind of highlighting the difference between gold, platinum level players versus these top, top guys or rank one guys. Um, you know, a lot of times you can bring longbows in and give people... A lot of trouble. Again, should have brought some towers, should have brought some spears along with it, but just didn't even slow him down or, or cause a dent. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd give people a good perspective of a gold platinum league player versus a rank one player. Uh, if you guys remember the show, old show, pros versus Joes. So, kind of applies here. Uh, need to see. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I may post the second video, the Delhi versus uh, Bruce. So, We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and thanks for watching.